Welcome back to the channel everybody, got a few tidbits of information for you, including Bungie confirming the Le Monarch bow drop, the Crucible changing coming soon, and the next possible Hunter Vanguard. First, let's go over the Le Monarch that I know everybody has been grinding for, trying to get. Now I'm here to tell you to actually quit grinding this, it's not going to happen. Why is that, you ask? Well, Bungie finally tweeted the right way to actually get it to drop, telling us the Le Monarch bow has a chance to be forged alongside any other powerful frames. Now, someone asked if it was necessary to actually be forging a powerful frame, and Bungie replied, yes. Now, there have been plenty of reports of people actually saying they've been farming this and claiming that they got it to drop during a regular frame, but yet they still have not been able to prove it so i'm gonna go with what bungie is saying here and say that you have to have that power frame if you don't it's pretty much pointless to actually farm it now let me ask how many of you are actually tired of seeing stuff like this in the crucible now bungie said a couple months ago that they were actually going to bring back the ban hammer but never ended up doing it well, they are going to end up trying it again with the update 2.1.3. Beginning soon, players with the most unreliable connections will receive an in-game warning. We know that connection quality is fluid, so don't worry if you have the occasional temporary issues. If you receive one of these warnings, please visit the network troubleshooting guide. If your connection does not improve, there are additional guides available that can help you in diagnosing advanced network issues. If all else fails, contact your internet service provider for assistance. If your connection does not improve after in-game warning and you continue detecting a negative impact on other guardians, restrictions from PvP activities may be applied to your account. If a restriction is applied to your account, you will be unable to participate in PvP for two weeks. If you continue to play on an unreliable connection that harms the experience of other players, this restriction may be extended. Now I for one cannot wait for this to happen. It seems like almost every night when I'm playing competitive, the later it gets, the worse the connections get, and it just seems like people don't want to take any more damage. So hopefully this can fix some of those problems, making the competitive a little bit easier for those guys grinding out the Lunas and all the other weapons that there are. Now on a more positive note for the Crucible, Iron Banner comes out on the 25th through January 1st and during that week we will have Double Valor and then the following week after that it will actually be Triple Valor so you can go ahead in there and grind out some of that Iron Banner and get your Double Valor while doing it. Now I want to hear everybody's thoughts on this down below in the comments guys. Let me know what you think about this band hammer coming. You know, there are guys out in more rural areas who probably don't have the best internet service providers around. So I'm wondering if that's going to affect them at all. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. And last but not least, guys, our next possible Hunter Vanguard. And I want to know what everybody thinks about this. So go ahead and put down in the comments your opinions on Prince Aldrin being our next Vanguard. By now, I'm sure most of you have done the blind well and gone to visit Queen Mara only to see that Queen Mara is not there. But when you enter her throne room, on the left side there's a little projection there that you can interact with and once you do, it gives you this cutscene that you are seeing in the background now. And yes, it is Prince Aldrin being revived by a ghost called Pulled Pork. Now we know that he's going to be the next Hunter Vanguard from Cade 6 mission Ace in the Hole. To put it simply, Cade says, if you're a hunter and you kill me, sucks to be you, you now have the Vanguard gate. This one's for any hunter who kills me. Best guess, Marcus Wren? You realize you get my stuff now. All my stuff. Including the Hunter Vanguard gig. Yeah. Congratulations, dummy. That's what we call a vanguard dare. Sucks, doesn't it? Okay, brace yourself for some advice, hotshot. One, know your people. Like my Nessa scout, Qantas Ree. I like to call her about once a moon, else she gets a little too much night. Not enough stalker, you know? Two, keep your weapons sharp. Your job's to watch everyone's back, which means no one's watching yours but you. And three, 
Start thinking now about what you want to do for your successor's Vanguard Dare. Cause trust me, kid, this gig will kill you. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. And newcomers to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see some more D2 content like this coming out daily.